Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we have a special guest interview. His name is Rich Brooks, and he's the founder and president of Flight New Media, a web design and marketing firm in Portland, Maine. He is a nationally recognized speaker on entrepreneurship, internet marketing, and social media. And he is currently the founder of the Agents of Change Digital Marketing Conference, which you can go to at Agents of Change. CON.com. You can also reference it in the description of this program, and it's an annual conference on certs, social, and mobile marketing. Broadcasting from the great north woods of the Lake Region of Southern Maine. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and EZineGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's get down to a quick few announcements before we get started. Like I always begin my shows, I really like to show my appreciation for all the feedback that we've been getting from you. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that we can explore together. We are also like to invite you to subscribe to the show yourself to take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. And you can do this on either YouTube iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, Zune, GeekCast.fm, and many other syndicates. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, and leave a comment to our show. Also, be sure to visit ezinegenerator.com to become a free member of our highly resourceful total online marketing presence community to get exclusive access to thousands of quality marketing resources at your fingertips. And finally, be sure to review our past archive shows on iTunes, Stitcher smart radio youtube and zoom and be sure to check out the description of this program to get a special discount that rich brooks is offering to our listeners and you can get that uh, uh by clicking the link to agents of change com. and when you go to register either to attend it virtually or in person you put in a special code it's ipro that's i-p-r-o now let's get down to business so today I'd like to uh, introduce a special guest that we have here on our show. His name is Rich Brooks, and he's the founder and president of Flight New Media, which is flight spelled F-L-Y-T-E dot biz, a web design and marketing firm in Portland, Maine. And he's a nationally recognized speaker on entrepreneurship, internet marketing, and social media. He presents uh, in blogs at uh, Flight Blog, and that's uh, F. L Y T E blog dot com on web marketing topics such as social media, search engine optimization, email marketing, blogs, and building websites that sell. He is currently an expert blogger at fastcompany.com and a regular contributor at socialmediaexaminer.com. He is the founder of the Agents of Change Digital Marketing Conference, which you can uh, click on through through the description at Agents of Change. CON.com, which is an annual conference on search, social, and mobile marketing, which is what our topic is today. And finally, he is a tech guru on WCSH Channel 6's evening news show and 207 and teaches web marketing and social courses for entrepreneurs at the University of Southern Maine's Center for Continuing Education. Well, today we've got a special guest with us. His name's Richard Brooks, or Rich Brooks. Which way do you like it, Rich? Uh, usually people just stop at Rich, so that's fine. All right, great. And uh, welcome onto the show, Rich. How are you? I'm doing great. It's uh, it's great to be part of the show. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm really excited to having you on this show. I've never uh, actually had a uh, guest on this show since we've been recording for almost the last year. This is our, I think, 57th show. And uh, we've never had anybody talk about uh, the subject matter that we're talking about here today. And that's about a, a, a convention or conference that you put on called the Agents of Change, the Digital Marketing Conference. And uh, so I had you on this show here today is to tell us a little bit about uh, the conference and uh, you know what it's uh, going to uh, provide to the digital marketer as far as what they're going to get out of it and what makes you, you know, it unique from other conferences. And... Uh, I'm going to go in and start the, uh, I guess, my first question with you is, uh, you, know, you know, can you tell us a, a little bit about your background on how you got inspired, um, you know, to host a conference like Agents of Change, the digital marketing conference? 
Sure. Uh, well, I started, I've been working in web design and internet marketing for years now. I've actually started my company, Flight New Media, back in 90, uh, 97. So I've been doing this for quite some time. And, and part of it has always been about creating content and educating people. That's always been one of my favorite things. And so the conference just became a natural extension of that. So a few years ago, I uh, started doing some social media presentations, which was really early on. Now, I live in Maine, and we're a little bit behind the curve on certain things. Uh, so sometimes things come to New York or LA or Boston before they come up here. But social media, I was out there with a couple other friends, and we started talking about it. And what we noticed is whenever we got you know, in front of a group of people, the rooms would fill up and, and they would sell out whenever we talked about social media. So we decided to put a conference on ourselves uh, called Social Media FTW. We did that for three years here in Maine, and then the band broke up amicably. You know, we all went our separate ways, but I decided that I wasn't quite done yet. Um, and the other thing is, as much as I love social media, and it's been very good for me, it's been very good for our clients, um, I really felt that that was only one channel that we needed to talk about. And so that's when I started thinking about, I want to talk about search, I want to talk about social, and I want to talk about mobile. I think those three things are really the accelerants for business. And so as I started playing around with different possible names for the conference, you know, I started with the word uh, accelerant, and that uh, that didn't work well with anything. Accelerant World, Accelerant Expo, terrible. So I went to the thesaurus, digital, of course, and found <laughs> Catalyst. So I started playing around with that, Catalyst, Conference, Cat you know, they none of them really had the right ring to it. So I went back to the, the thesaurus, tough word to say many times in a row, and found that one of the uh, one of the synonyms for Catalyst was Agents of Change. And I've always been a big comic book and sci-fi guy, so as soon as I saw Agents of Change, mm -hmm. I immediately visualized some sort of you know, spy versus spy, Max Smart kind of thing going on with the agents representing search, social, and mobile. And that was really the beginning. And then I partnered with a friend of mine, Josh Fisher, who does uh, a lot of the illustrations for us and created the characters to develop this idea a little bit further. And, and that's where we ended up with the agents of change and decided, let's make this a real life conference. I had been to things like Blog World. I had been to things like South By and uh, more recently, Social Media Marketing World. Nothing like that was going on in Maine, at least not from a business marketing standpoint. And I wanted to bring some of that flavor to Maine. And so that's really how we decided to put on our own conference here. That's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really great story. Uh, that's that's really cool because, you know, obviously, you know, I'm up here in Maine uh, over the summers and uh, actually not very far from Portland, about 25 miles. And uh, I stumbled upon your conference uh, through a mutual contact of ours. And I thought it was really cool. In fact, it intrigued my um my curiosity right away and then obviously that drove me to obviously go and check out the Agents of Change uh, Digital Marketing Conference website and uh, see uh, what it was all about and obviously as I was checking it out you know I was checking out who the you know what the agenda was and uh, who the, the the guest speakers were so you know could you tell me us a little bit about you know what the agenda is for the digital marker and you know some of the key topics that will be covered as well as the the roster of guests uh, speakers covering those topics. Sure. Uh, well, we've got a wide variety. We want to talk both about strategies and tactics. Uh, our keynote is Chris Brogan, uh, obviously very well known in our industry and social media. And he's going to be talking about how you develop uh, a digital presence. And he's going to be using some real world examples. Um, I'm also wrapping up the day with my friend and mentor, Mike Stelzner. Now, if you don't know Mike, he is the founder of Social Media Examiner which is the second biggest social media blog in the world. And the number one one is Mashable, which will, in my opinion, as good as it is, a long time stop talking about social media. So I really think that Mike is the king of, of social media marketing right now. And he's going to be walking us through how he created his uh, company, how he used content to kind of build a list because the funny thing is is I, I do a lot of these conferences and I end up in the back room with all these social media superstars and the thing that they always brag about is not how many Twitter followers they have or how many Facebook fans they have. They talk about the size of their list and so Mike is, uh, is a master at building a list so he's also going to share some of those stories. So I'm a big fan of using search and social 
and to a lesser degree mobile to build your email list so you can stay in touch with people. So he's going to be talking about some of that. Actually, Jamie Tardy, who runs a successful blog and podcast called The Eventual Millionaire, she's actually interviewing Mike. So it's going to be a slightly different take from just standing up and doing a presentation. It's going to be more of a sit-down interview. Um, other people who are going to be there, Laura Fitton uh, from HubSpot is going to be talking about Twitter. John Dumas, our mutual friend, is going to be talking about podcasting and how he basically created a, from scratch in just about six months a six-figure income just through podcasting. Uh, Carissa St. Laurent from Constant Contact is going to be talking about how to, email marketing and how to build your list. If you are interested in video, you definitely want to check out James Wedmore. He is basically my go-to guy when it comes to any sort of YouTube marketing or online video marketing. He puts together great content, always shares an insane amount of great information, so you definitely want to check out him. Um, we also have uh, an SEO expert panel if you want to have somebody check out your website and tell you what you can be doing to rank higher in the search engines. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have three uh, experts on SEO. We've got a Facebook panel, so we're going to be going over how to build uh, an effective uh, Facebook page that engages your audience, how to manage your uh, advertising dollars on Facebook, and even a local success story of how one organization is using Facebook basically just to explode. Um, then we've got somebody talking about digital advertising. How do you advertise online? We've got somebody talking, Greg Hickman of Mobile Mix is going to be talking about mobile marketing and what small businesses need to get going. Uh, Ross Lasley is going to be talking about e-commerce options. Basically, how do you choose the right shopping cart for your business? There's a whole lot going on. I'll also be presenting. Um, I'm still working on my topic. Right now it's called Stuff About Stuff, so hopefully I'm going to come up with something a little better than that. Um, and then to start off the whole day, we've got this guy, Roderick Russell, coming in. And he is he's going to be talking about how to be remarkable. And to show you how remarkable he is, the first time I met Roderick Russell, it was in Pat Flynn's suite in Vegas. He swallowed a 26-inch sword. <laughs> And that was the least interesting thing he did all night. So I'm just saying that. I don't know what he's going to be doing, but he's going to be opening the, the, uh, opening the conference for us and doing something remarkable and talking to you about how you can be remarkable in business and separate yourself from your competition. So as you can see, it's a wide variety of topics. We've got a lot of very tactical stuff, and we've got a lot of strategic stuff, and we've got a lot of stuff that's just going to blow your mind in terms of getting you to think about your business in a new way. But it's all going to be focused along those three critical channels of search, social, and mobile. That's a, that's a great spectrum of topics to obviously cover. In fact, I think you pretty much covered it from A to Z. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's awesome. I think that'll be uh, – it almost, uh, in a way, uh, might not even have to ask you my uh, question after this one, <laughs> but we'll, we'll ask you it anyway because it is an important question. And uh, But anyway, my next question to you is, um, you know, when and where is the Agents of Change, the digital marketing conference being held? All right. So there's it's actually in two venues. One is at, at the Abramson Center in Portland, Maine, and we've only got 400 tickets available for the physical conference. So if you want to come and join us, and as of this morning, I think we just sold our 300th ticket right before I got online with you. So there's only 100 tickets left, um, and I expect those tickets to go fast because you know how these conferences are. Everybody waits the last minute. Mm -hmm. um, so grab your ticket, I would say, almost immediately. But if you cannot make it to Portland, Maine, um, or if you're just busy that day or if you live too far away, we also have have a digital pass. So if you buy the digital pass, what you do is you get access to the live feed throughout the day, which is in the big room. And then for any breakout sessions, you'll see what's going on in the big room. And then after the conference, then we're going to put every session up live on the website for anybody who has a digital pass. And so that you can basically get access to every single session on demand for a full year after the conference. So it's going to be a pretty amazing deal. So even if you can't be there physically, at least you can be there digitally. You can be there in spirit, whether you want to watch live or if you want to watch on demand as often as you like. Well, that's a great, um, I guess, bonus, I'd say for sure. I mean, because not everybody obviously can make the, the trip, but if you definitely can and you are in the New England area or Midwest and you can jump in a car and make a one-day journey, that's great. Um, and that kind of, like I said before earlier in the in the show, was uh, kind of defeats my next question. But I'm going to ask it anyway because that way it gives you a chance to cover anything that we might have missed. And my next question to you is: What is unique and sets this conference apart from other types of conferences? 
Well, there's a lot of great conferences out there. Um, and so, you know, rather than compete against some other conference, I would say that, you know, some of the things that make that I'm especially excited about, one is Maine is not my first home. It's my adopted home. I love it here. And part of what I wanted to do is give people a reason because I, I know that a, for, May, for a lot of people when I talk to them, when I go to these other conferences and they're like, oh, my God, you're from Maine, either A, I've always wanted to go there or B, I went to camp there when I was a kid. I loved it. So I wanted to give people the opportunity to fly in on Thursday night come to the conference on a Friday, spend the weekend, and write the entire thing off as a business trip. And I know a number of people are doing this. I just saw a tweet the other day from a woman who just finalized her plans coming up from Austin, Texas, specifically for this conference and to see Maine. And the other thing is, you know, we've got a great selection of speakers, and the fact that you can watch them for really almost next to nothing, it's like less than $10 a session if you Mm -hmm. buy the digital pass. Um, that to me makes it very affordable. You can watch on demand. You can watch it when you want, where you want. It's going to be very uh, effective. So even if you can't make it here in person, just the idea that all of these great speakers are coming together, that you can watch it at your own speed, you can uh, strip out the audio, listen on a podcast, whatever you want to do, that to me is very powerful. And I've seen what other digital conferences cost, and this is a fraction of the cost. So it becomes a very affordable solution for a lot of people. That's great because it's kind of a conference on demand, you know, TiVo it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you provide the TiVo for them. That's, uh, that's a great, uh, unique thing about your conference. I've, I attend a, a few each year or try to, and um, that's becoming more and more of a trend. But a lot of them can't cover basically all the, you know, breakout sessions and different things that they do. So um, the fact that you can, once again, cover A to Z and cover it all is uh, going to be a great uh benefit as far as if you can't make the the conference physically um let me i'm going to lead into my next question and that is um is there anything else that you know i haven't asked that you know you'd like us to know about the agents to change the digital marketing conference Hmm. i think i feel like we've covered a lot the only thing that i would say is just on that digital pass you know i've gone to some of these virtual conferences and the digital pass is basically like audio and slides. And I actually partnered with this group down in Boston, outside of Boston, called the Pulse Network. Mm -hmm. And they did the conference last year. And they bring in a two-camera crew, and they've also got a live feed for the slides. When you're watching, you are like watching a high-end production. This is really... You're almost going to feel like you're in, in the audience, you're in the studio, or in the studio audience, in the audience. Um, if you want to get a sample of this, you can actually go to the homepage of the Agents of Change website, agentsofchangecon.com, and we've got a sizzle reel, the highlights from last year, so you can get a sense of what this was. That was year one, and we had such a great success. Actually, Forbes magazine uh, said that Agents of Change was one of four lesser-known conferences that deserve your attention in 2013. So we're certainly hoping that people pay attention to what Forbes says and check this conference out and give it a try. Great. Thank you for sharing that. Now I've got one, another question for you. This is kind of the, the super secret question that uh, I didn't tell you. So here comes that curveball. Okay. If you had a crystal ball and we're looking into it, what do you see as some of the hottest trends in, say, web marketing, mobile, SEO, or social media? Well, you know, it's always a tough question because you're almost never right when you try this because because things change so drastically. I, I'd say instead that one of the things that never goes out of style is starting with a goal and then developing your strategies and tra- tactics after that. So the bottom line is I think no matter what comes and goes, because, you know, is it Pinterest this year? Is it Quora? Is it Instagram? What's going to be next? And, and what have we not heard of yet? And I'm sure there's going to be something that next year we're talking about that seems so obvious right now if we'd only been paying attention. Um, but those moments are really difficult for people to figure out. What I would say is, and we're actually about to relaunch our our website for flight. And so I've been sitting down with like a big butcher block piece of paper trying to figure everything out. And a lot of what I think businesses should be focusing on are developing your own list, building your email list. That's going to be the critical solution because social media, like you said, what is the next hot thing? Who knows? Who knows what the next channel is going to be? But if you put your website at the middle of this map and then you think about all the platforms that you're on, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google+, whatever they are, and you use those channels to engage your audience and drive them 
to your website where you can either get them to pick up the phone, click on a buy now button, or sign up for your email list. That's really the magical formula. And that's really what you should be concentrating on. For most small businesses, don't worry about what the next hot thing is. Just concentrate on using the channels that your audience are on right now and then build your list based on those channels. I completely agree with you. In fact, uh, that's how I actually got on the internet is uh, in my background was in email marketing. As my listeners know, uh, I started one of the first AWeber systems back in 1996 and uh, was a direct marketer before that. And I always said uh, the list is your most important thing no matter what. It's the driver of your business. And the quality of that list is also very important as far as being able to know that it's relative and that if you can even go so far to segment it down and break it down because not all businesses are just, you know, a single color. You know, there's multiple facets and things and products and interests of why they join that list. It's a very powerful thing and you're absolutely right. I think even today more that's got to be kind of the highlight thing because of the fact that things have gotten more sophisticated, more complex in this world. There's a lot of uh, differences and and what people like in, you know, like I said, different interests and products because your company obviously or your, you know, conference delivers, you know, social and mobile and, and web marketing and, and different and search. And those different aspects have a different interest and not everybody's interested in, say, the whole broad spectrum, but might be just interested in one thing. So I totally agree with you with that. And I think uh, a lot people will have a lot to get out of this uh, conference. And I highly recommend that people check out the uh, Agents of Change, the Digital Marketing Conference. Rich, would you like to tell us uh, how we could or how the audience could uh, contact you and uh, possibly register for the, uh, the marketing conference? Sure. So what I would say is you can head on over to agentsconference.com. So that's the main website, and you can check it out and learn a little bit more and sign up uh, you know, either for the physical or digital pass and check that out. Um, and then if you're just looking to talk to me, I'm almost always on Twitter. I'm at the Rich Brooks, and you can feel free to ask me any questions, and I'd be happy to provide you any answers. Uh, is there uh, on the uh, social media too, as well as they can find you on Facebook, right? They can find me anywhere. And to be honest, my <laughs> handle is the Rich Brooks in every single platform. So, uh, so if you're if you prefer to be on Google Plus, or you prefer to be on Facebook, or LinkedIn, or or Pinterest, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know if I am. The Rich Brooks on Pinterest. But outside of Pinterest, <laughs> uh, just look for The Rich Brooks and I'm sure you'll find me. Great. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show here, Rich, and sharing uh, information about the Agents of Change, the Digital Marketing Conference. And I look forward to uh, getting a chance uh, to meeting you by attending it myself in person and uh, meeting some other uh, – Obviously, great people that are going to be attending that conference as well, uh, especially the networking session. The after afterward, you know, you see that you have uh, some drinks and cash bar, and we yeah. have a cash bar, but we also have partnered with local brewer Shipyard. They're going to be bringing in some free beer for us. So if you like local be- brews, you're going to get that for free. And uh, we just worked out with a pizza place in town. They're going to be bringing in some free pizza as well. I-, I didn't mention, but breakfast, lunch, and all the snacks, and now the pizza party is all included. And then we are putting together kind of a casual party afterwards too, but we won't announce the details of that until the uh, conference itself. Super secret party. <laughs> Super secret for anybody who comes to the conference. Anybody who's an agent. All right, great. Well, I love the concept and everything about it. Everyone, go ahead and check it out. And uh, highly recommend that if you can't make it, obviously you can join us all on the digital version of it and uh, consume it at your own pace. Thank you very much, Rich, and have a great day. Thanks, Chad. Bye-bye.